Is there a kingdom in the sky? In the ministry of presence. Is there a kingdom in the sky? I woke up in the middle of the night. I have been waiting for a sign. To trust in life. To feel the connection to the above and the below. Yesterday, deep feelings of endings and the eternal doubt of not knowing drowned me in tears. I could not stop crying. Last night, I watched Fathers Do, a movie about meaning, faith, and a thirst for connection to a higher existence. Before dawn, I woke up and reached for my phone, and I saw a message on the screen. I could not read well. I was looking for my glasses. Once I connected to my waking body through my breathing exercises, moments of silence, and then some humming, I pick up my phone again and I look for the message. And there it was, a gesture of kindness. I replied to a comment I made on YouTube from all places, from the man himself, Nick Cave, the polymath, the songwriter, the singer, the writer, the ceramist, the human. The one that bears his deep pain on his chest and shows strength as vulnerability. A few days ago, I listened on repeat to his new track he created with the genius of Warren Ellens that touched me deeply. So I conveyed a message of love by posting two words, hauntingly beautiful. In the reply, he wrote, Hello, Monica. How are you doing? Your comment caught my attention, and that is why I'm reaching out to you. Your fond love for me warms my heart. Thank you. Then he has a heart emoji. Whether it was him, his assistant, or a troll who responded, it did not matter. The warm feeling in my heart was of the essence. The connection to spirit through a gesture of kindness was the sign I needed this morning. I am wearing a smile as I write, for I have found it difficult to write the last two weeks as I trashed article after article, deeming them not good enough or worthy of your time. The value comes from a moment of recognition that in this life, no matter the suffering, there is always light that is felt as love. Thank you, Nick, for ever seeing your light. Grace, a state of grace. The air feels eerie, for I can smell the winds of change. I lay down and cry. Oh, I know that I sign up for this. The suffering is felt, the separation from spirit, a difficult sensation felt by every soul, forever time and again, weeping for the unknown, surrendering all. The light appears briefly in the form of a word, a gesture, a song, a film, Shaping the hearts of despair for the brief moment of doubt. All it needs, a proof, a connection. Therefore, as I yearn, far from the unreachable, I sing a song, a song of devotion. The way to bear this journey, O oh my Lord, dwelling within the longing of the absolute, the sublime, the absurd, the liminal, heaven and earth, the trinity, a synthesis, fell through suffering. The magician eliminates all spells with the passion to surrender. A compass draws 36 and 72 degree angles around the blank page, looking to connect to the cosmic geometric wisdom of numbers and codes. Decipher it, my dear, one source of it all. I hear the spoken words a thousand times. Is there a kingdom in the sky? I prayed for a sign. While listening to the latest book, a spoken pair of voices as a sign of faith, hope, and carnage. Synchronicity did some fault. Father Stu felt it as an invitation through Virgin Mary's reaching hand. I woke up to find, how are you? As my comment, hauntingly beautiful, caught your attention. You felt, you noticed, you simply asked. A feeling, a knowing, the kingdom that connects us all is within. Below a clip I just captured from the book, Nick answers a question to Sean somewhere around track three. August 17, 2022. Monica's never sent question to Nick for the red hand files. 
I found it on my phone, uncompleted, and buried in the notes. Here's what I scribbled. Hi, Nick. This is Monica. I must remember to be kind. I must remember to be kind. A phrase you repeat at least three times as a voiceover in the film, this time with feeling. Are you smiling again? Have you found your way back to kindness? I know the pain. What will be a gesture of kindness today? That would have been my question, the one I have never sent to you at the Red Hunt Files. Today the answer was woven in many forms, in your comment, in your book, and in the movie watching what Father Stu felt as love when he encountered his state of grace. We all have those magical moments, don't we? They come unexpectedly. Happy solar return, dear Nick. Your creative soul has inspired me since 1989, when I watched you perform live for the first time in Athens, Greece. Based on my last article, a new opening has emerged today. To dissolve the anger I feel towards the church and find a way to connect with the feeling of awe by passing the corrupted institutions. All synchronistic events are connected within 24 hours, 4 days, and 4 weeks. The feeling of loss, as I make conscious decisions to leave behind attitudes, relationships, and places where my energy has stalled. After lunch, I downloaded Nick's latest audiobook and listened to a couple of tracks as he converses with Sean O'Hagan. In the evening, I watch the movie Fathers 2, and I wonder, oh, the theme is apparent. I listened to Pearly four days ago and wrote a note I never sent four weeks ago. The Ministry of Presence, Shia LaBeouf. Back to you, dear reader. I have not abandoned this space yet, but I needed a breath or two. In what ways has your faith been restored as of late? What acts of kindness have you been served that you can remember? What is the meaning of your life now? Where can I best be of service? It is in the universe of a gesture. Today, no astrolingo, no jinkies, no human design, no riddles, just pure heart. I leave you with the song to listen to. It's Lavender Fields, Nick Cave and Warren Ellis. Sometimes I see a pale bird wheeling in the sky, but that is just a feeling, a feeling when you die. Where did they go? Where did they hide? We don't ask who, we don't ask why. There is a kingdom in the sky. There is a kingdom in the sky. Have a great week. Happy Equinox. Times are really rough right now. Crises after crisis. I've been away because I have not felt well. Uh, but I'm here, committed to myself, my creativity, and to the purpose in my life. Till soon. Bye.